10, water on, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, First stage will then release upper stage for the final segment of our flight. Two and a half minutes in the flight, again coming up on main engine cutoff at just about T plus three minutes. Everything looking good so far. Flight, MIFCO, option set. Confirmed, option received. Now looking at an onboard view, looking up, there you see payload fairing separation. This is a camera on the upper stage. And there is stage separation and ether ignition, upper stage ignition. Now the upper stage will burn for just about five minutes on its way to low Earth orbit. Again, everything looking good so far. Can actually see from the onboard telemetry the vehicle is actually already in space. However, it has to get that horizontal velocity needed to stay in space via achieving low Earth orbit. And so we're going to be watching that velocity marker uh, tick up on the bottom right of your screen. But four minutes in the flight, everything is looking good so far.
You can see on the left there the path that the rocket has traced so far on its trajectory, pretty much due east, right down the center of that corridor. Five minutes in the flight, everything looking good. And we're going to expect this burn to continue until about eight and a half minutes after liftoff. Yeah, the eight and a half minute mark, that's when we will receive the second engine cut off. And at that point, will be payload deployment. And just as a reminder, we uh, should only be able to see one of the two payloads deploy from this mission from our onboard upper stage camera. However, it is likely that we may not see this video feed and we may not receive signal confirmation of the satellites um, for up to 90 minutes after deployment occurs. Again, this is completely expected and it is due to the location of those satellites in orbit relative to their ground communication links. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see exactly uh, what we see there, but hoping to get some cool views. The teams at Alameda watching on as the flight progresses. Again, the flight going well so far. Six minutes into flight. You can keep an eye on that altitude. You can see the rocket already over 510 kilometers in altitude. Again, the target orbit for today is at 550 kilometers in altitude. And you can see also that velocity continuing to climb towards orbital velocity, of course, which is good. Seven minutes in the flight. Just a little over a minute left in the planned upper stage burn. <laughs> 